Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 kids' movie examples of the Mandela Effect. What does that mean? It means buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. For this list, we'll be looking at the most surprising lines and moments from kids' films that you might be remembering wrong. If any of these examples make you question your childhood reality, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Is it a secret? Agent Cody Banks. Secret Agent Cody Banks. You've made the school newspaper. I think it's safe to say you've blown your cover. Cody Banks is a teenager who goes undercover for the CIA. Although his role as a spy is definitely a secret, the word makes no appearance in the film's title. Despite that, there are many fans who remember the movie being titled Secret Agent Cody Banks. Maybe it's because so many of the usual spy tropes are used in the film. I'm a junior secret agent working for the CIA. They gave me this stuff. Happy? Whatever. When you have hidden gadgets, confidential missions and code words, it's bound to make you think of the term secret agent. Or maybe it's because we can't get the lyrics to Johnny Rivers' Secret Agent Man out of our head. Secret. Number 9. Pronounce every consonant. The Flintstones. We've been hanging with this modern Stone Age family since their animated debut in 1960. In 1994, they took to the big screen in a live action film. That entire time, we've been singing the catchy song that features their name. But are you pronouncing it right? Barney Quick. What's my name? Fred Flintstone! Go toy with me, Barney! You did it, Fred! You made it! Yeah, but damn it, damn it, damn it. Many people would swear there's no T in the middle of their name. Perhaps they're just a victim of the American tendency to drop consonants in the middle of words. It's always been the Flintstones. It's a not-so-subtle rock reference for this caveman who works in a gravel pit. No matter which way you sing it, there's always been a T in the middle. <laughs> Number 8. Sword in the Anvil. The Sword in the Stone. And below the hilt, in letters of gold, were written these words. Whoso pulleth out this sword of this stone and anvil is rightwise king, born of England. We all know the Arthurian legend, right? Whoever pulls the sword out of the stone would become the true king of England. In the Disney cartoon, young Arthur's journey to the fateful moment is fairly roundabout. However, he does ultimately release the sword and prove he's the rightful king. Where did you get it, Wart? I, I, I pulled it out of an anvil that was on a stone in, in a churchyard. <laughs> Despite what most people remember, the gawky squire actually pulls the sword out of an anvil and not a stone. The belief that he snagged it from a big grey rock is definitely understandable. The title implies that it's a stone, but even the original T.H. White novel had the sword in an anvil on top of a stone. So we've only the Mandela effect to blame. It's a miracle, ordained by heaven. This boy is our king. Well, by Jove. Number 7. Stripe or Spike? Gremlins. Keep him away from water. Don't give him any water to drink. And whatever you do, don't give him a bath. And probably the most important thing, don't ever feed him after midnight. From the moment we hear the three rules about owning a mogwai, you just know that all of them will be broken. When getting gizmo wet meant that there were even more cute little creatures, you had to wonder if it really was a bad thing. Then it became clear that one of the second generation was bad news. After his post-midnight snack, he was even worse. This leader of the Bad Batch was easy to identify. Right away, Coy Feldman's character noticed and named him after the distinctive white stripe of hair on his head. Hey, look at that one's got a cute little stripe on its head. <laughs> so, why did so many people think his name was Spike? Sorry, children of the 80s, despite what you might remember, his name is Stripe. That's Stripe. He's the leader. Number 6. Snoopy's Tail. Peanuts franchise. Whoa, look at that! Is that Snoopy? 
lucky. The lovable dramatic beagle Snoopy was introduced in 1950. Since then, he has become one of the most recognizable characters in the Peanuts franchise. Whoa! Check out the news and that funny looking kid with the big nose. Maybe you picture him dancing, begging for his dinner, or teasing his owner, Charlie Brown. In that image in your mind, what color is his tail? Many people would say black. In fact, his tail has always been white. Some will argue that it depends on which version you look at, but it's the same in movies as well as TV. Whether Snoopy is chilling on top of his doghouse or imagining he's a World War I flying ace, his tail always matches his white body. Number 5. Who's Mad? Alice in Wonderland After all, we haven't been invited, and curiosity often leads to trouble. When Alice falls down the rabbit hole into Wonderland, she meets all sorts of zany creatures. The violent Queen of Hearts and crazy tea party characters will always be popular. The Cheshire Cat, with its wild grin and talent for fading in and out, is definitely a favourite. Oh, you're a cat! A Cheshire Cat, all oh, a mimosy, oh, the border goes. Oh, wait! Don't go, please! The famous line, we're all mad here, is featured on t-shirts, coffee mugs and gifts. The problem is that the purple striped feline never said that line. Instead, the grinning cat says, Most everyone's mad here. <laughs> this misremembered phrase appears in the original Lewis Carroll novel, but not in the Disney film. Who's mad now? Number 4. Cruella's Last Name 101 Dalmatians Oh, Pongo! It's her! It's that devil woman! What's the name of the villain in Disney's famous puppy caper? She's the one who wants to steal the Radcliffe's Dalmatians to make a spotted fur coat. If you can't remember, just recall the catchy tune sung by Roger Dearly. It features the frightening name Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. That's it! Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. What better name for the resident of Hell Hall than one that means cruel devil? But how is her last name spelled? Many would swear it has two L's and an E at the end. However, Disney isn't known for subtlety. It's actually spelled exactly like the word devil, but with a space in the middle. After all, any other spelling wouldn't fit as nicely on a license plate. Corella Deville has the last laugh! <laughs> Number 3. Sinbad vs Shaq Kazam In 1996, a movie came out featuring a genie that lived in a magic boombox. Watch it, boy! You don't want to diss me, or I'll dish out my misery. Now! The Mandela effect in this instance is twofold. First of all, who starred as the genie? Was it basketball star Shaquille O'Neal or the comedian Sinbad? What are you doing? Do my job, I'm trying to keep you alive, testing the food. In the same year, Sinbad starred in First Kid with a young actor, but he wasn't granting wishes. It was Shaq who brought junk food raining down from the sky. That's it? <sighs> a Happy Meal? Mm. The other debate is over the name. Many people believe it was Shazam, but the film was actually called Kazam. Neither of those should be confused with the 2019 live-action film Shazam. Say my name. Really? really? No, not my name. No, the, say the name that I say to turn into this guy. Shazam! Honestly, no wonder we're confused on this one. Number 2. Magic Mirror Mirror – Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs This sweet fairy tale was the first animated feature to be released by Walt Disney Productions. In the decades since its release, we were bound to misremember a few things. It's shocking that the most famous line is the one audiences continually get wrong. How many people have looked at their reflection and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? 
In fact, that's not the demand the evil queen makes of her servant. She says, Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? People have been misquoting it for more than 80 years. Makes you wonder who got it wrong first. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most powerful of them all? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kansas Confusion – The Wizard of Oz When Dorothy crash lands in Oz, she is astounded at her new location. While checking out the Technicolor world, she shares a straightforward observation with her pup. It's a line that has become synonymous with finding yourself in an unexpected place. It's such a well-known phrase that even when it's misquoted in movies, it gets the message across. You are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. The funny thing is that the quotes, misquotes and references to this pivotal moment are all based on an incorrect memory of the line. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> really? Although, we're not in Kansas anymore is a nice punchy quote, it's wrong. The full line doesn't roll off the tongue as easily. Dorothy actually says, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. When Dorothy, when Dorothy, <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.